On this second episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your Frame Meister to get the best possible picture out of the Sega Genesis game console. Game systems like the Sega Genesis is where the XRGB Mini really shines, and it won't take much to get your Sega Genesis games looking emulator sharp. First, you'll need a Model 1 or Model 2 Genesis, or the Sega Nomad handheld. The Genesis 3 does not output RGB without modification. I personally use a late revision Model 2 Genesis, which outputs a very clean video signal as well as good audio. Next, you'll need an RGB SCART cable. I recommend using a cable with a separate composite sync line rather than sync on composite. Thankfully, these are cheap and plentiful, and I purchased mine from RetroGamingCables.com. You can buy these wired to the JP21 spec, which is ready to use with the Frame Meister. Otherwise, you can buy a European wired cable and use a mini DIN adapter for use with the mini. Again, the XRGB mini does a wonderful job with 240p sources like the Sega Genesis. And out of the box, it will look pretty damn good. However, with just a few tweaks, we can make it look perfect. So here are the settings that I use. One of the XRGB Mini's strong points are its handling of 240p content over SCART, and these settings should give you a near emulation quality on the big screen. <laughs> 